Hello everyone, my name is Hannah and welcome to my channel, Hannah Claire Reads. So I said in my last video that the next video I was going to bring to you guys is a bookshelf tour. I have been wanting to do this video for a while, but I knew that I was going to go back to Texas and bring some of my books that I got in high school with me back and I went book shopping and I just wanted to get new books to put on my shelf so that it was like as full as it was going to be for the next like couple of weeks at least. So now I think I'm finally ready to do the bookshelf tour. Also I reorganized my books and I got a new shelf which looks really nice and so uh, I'm gonna be showing you these two shelves and the shelf that's in my living room um, that has a couple of different books on it. Overall, I believe I have around 150 books on my bookshelves. Um, I also have more books on, on my Kindle, but I'm not going to be showing those to you guys because that's just not as interesting. Do, in doing this video, I'm in no way bragging about how many books I, I have. Um, I've been very fortunate to be able to afford the books that I have, and I also do a lot of bargain book shopping um, in order to acquire these books, and I've been doing it like over the course of... 10 years so I am a book collector and uh, I, I try to be frugal about it sometimes I fail but I'm in no way bragging with this video just a quick disclaimer before I jump in but I hope you enjoy this video it's gonna be a lot of fun to make I have this shelf from Ikea that has eight little cubes in it and then I have a, another shelf from Walmart that has three cubes in it um, and you'll see my other shelf soon, but we're just gonna go cube by cube. So here I have my book of the month boxes, which I have since unsubscribed to book of the month for a number of reasons, but these are those books. So I have The Guest List by Lucy Foley, The Fountains of Silence by Ruta Sepetis, Home Before Dark by Riley Sager, The Kingdom of Back by Marie Lu. And then I get into my Illuminae files. So uh, I have Illuminae, Gemina, and Obsidio. Um, I'm really excited to reread these. Um, right here I have my little Princess Leia Funko Pop. I'll put her here because, you know, Star Wars is kind of sci-fi and these are kind of sci-fi, so that's why she's there. But then I have Again But Better by Christine Riccio and Little Monsters by Cara Thomas. My next little cube is kind of a fantasy cube with some contemporary mixed in. Um, my books are mostly arranged based on the series they're in and height. So it's not super organized, but here are the Harry Potter books that I have in South Carolina. Um, I left the rest of them for my sisters back home, but I have the uh, illustrated Chamber of Secrets, Harry Potter and the Cursed Child and Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban. Um, and then over here I have my Ginny and I have this candle uh, with Mrs. Weasley's jumpers. <laughs> um, right next to it I have another wonderful book from my childhood, Matilda by Roald Dahl. Then I have my Six of Crows duology, Six of Crows and Crooked Kingdom. Then I have one of my favorite books ever, Romanoff by Nadine Brands. And then these are the only two books of the Lunar Chronicles that I own in hard copy. The rest of them are on my Kindle. But I have Winter and Fairest and then over here I have One of Us is Lying by Karen M. McManus. So we're gonna go down a cube and we have the rest of my Marissa Meyer books. So we have Renegades and Arch Enemies. Um, and then we have my um, two books from Stalking Jack the Ripper that are here. I have Stalking Jack the Ripper, but I left it behind um, in Texas. But here's Hunting Prince Dracula and Escaping from Houdini. Then I have June Boys. A Map of Days. I have Library of Souls too, it's just not here. Um, I have Sadie by Courtney Summers. Oh, I have um, Coulson here and I gave him Captain America's shield because he deserves it, but kind of goes with the Renegades because those are superheroes. Um, I have Wilder Girls by Rory Power, All American Boys by Jason Reynolds, and A Deathstruck Year. One cube over, I have probably my most aesthetically pleasing shelf. Um, I looked over one day and I realized that all of the Schwab's books were white, red, and black, and most of the books I put on the shelf are white, red, and black, so it's kind of nice. But I have on the third board, um, I don't know who this is by, T. Diggins. Then I have Turtles All the Way Down by John Green. Hey, yeah. The Poet X by Elizabeth Acevedo. 
Save the Date by Morgan Matson, and then I have my B.U. Schwab books um, with uh, Scarlet Witch right here because she kind of fits with the, the theme and with the, uh, the look. But we have my box set of A Darker Shade of Magic series, and then we have Vicious and The Savage Song. Oh, and up here, I have a stack of all the books that I need to read on my Kindle. Um, I kind of have them organized by type so that I know what I have. Okay, and now we're getting to my paperbacks. Uh, I do prefer paperbacks, but they just don't look as nice on my shelf, so I keep them down here. But I have Second Chance Summer by Morgan Matson, Between Shades of Grey by Ruta Cepetis, Memoirs of a Teenage Amnesiac by Gabrielle Zevin, because You Love to Hate Me, edited by Amari, but written by a bunch of YA authors and booktubers. Little White Lies by Jennifer Barnes. Truly Devious and The Vanishing Stare by Maureen Johnson. A Great and Terrible Beauty by Libba Bray. The Eleventh Plague by Jeb Hirsch. The Wrath and the Dawn by Renee Audier. Everything Everything by Nicola Yoon. Anna and the French Kiss by Stephanie Perkins and The Fault in Our Stars by John Green. This is the last cube of books on my bigger shelf. So I have Pedro and Me by Winnick. Welcome to Night Vale by Joseph Fink and Jeffrey Craner. A Step from Heaven by Am Na. Space Between Words between Space Between Words by Michelle Phoenix. A Monster Calls by Patrick Ness. The Secret Life of Violet Grant by Beatrice Williams, The Way We Fall by Megan Crew, The Madman's Daughter by Megan Shepard, Allegiant by Veronica Roth, The Curious Incident of the Dog in the Nighttime by Mike by Mark Haddon, Magonia by Maria Headley, Boy Meets Boy by David Levithan, The Secret Horses of Briar Hill by Megan Shepard, Breathing Room by Hales, Fever by Laurie House Anderson. Weetsy Bat by Block and Warriors Don't Cry by Melba Patillo Beals. Down here we have textbooks and notebooks and old diaries and scrapbooks and newspapers that I wrote in, so not super interesting. <laughs> this is my new shelf up here. I just keep my planner and my Kindle. But right here uh, we have my Barnes & Noble paperback classics, which I collect, and I love them so much. So I have The Awakening and Selected Short Fiction by Kate Chopin, The Let by Charlotte Bronte, The Jungle by Upton Sinclair, The Portrait of the Artist as a Young Man and Dubliners by James Joyce, Crime and Punishment by Dostoevsky, Sense and Sensibility by Jane Austen, The Collected Poems of Emily Dickinson, The Collected Oscar Wilde, and Anna Karenina, which I'm currently reading and loving it. On my second shelf, I have the rest of my Dostoevsky and my Faulkner books. So I have the Uncollected Short Stories by Faulkner, The Sun and the Fury, and As I Lay Dying. And then I have The House of the Dead and the Gambler, Devils, Notes from the Underground and Other Stories, The Idiot, and The Karamazov Brothers, all by Dostoevsky. And then on the last shelf, I have my Sylvia Plath books and a couple of just random adult books that didn't fit on my other shelf. So I have the collected poems by Sylvia Plath, The Bell Jar, and uh, In Cold Blood by Truman Capote. Then I have Everything I Never Told You by Celeste Ng, uh, The Unabridged Journals of Sylvia Plath, Cat's Eye by Margaret Atwood, Burnt Shadows by Camilla Shanzi, and Pale, Pale Horse, Pale Rider by Katherine Porter. Now, this is the bookshelf in my living room. I use it for, to display like a bunch of random things, but also all the books that didn't fit on my shelf. So I have a bunch of just random decoration things all over here, my piano books, some bookish things like my candle that says second breakfast, um, some board games and pictures of me and my friends. Uh, and then we get to my books. So right here we have a Mad Tea Party candle and this is um, Belle, uh, the Emma Watson version from Beauty and the Beast. So I really love that one. Um, but here we have uh, a lot of my Christian books. So this is a Bible study and um, it's really good. This is... This is Define Your Next Decade by John Piper. Um, then we have Living Out Transparent Faith by my friend Lauren Faith McRoberts. 
Then we have Chasing Elephants by Brent Crow, Unstoppable, Unshakable Pursuit, um, Gospel by J.D. Greer, Jesus Among Other Gods by Ravi Zacharias, Surprised by Joy by C.S. Lewis, Not Yet Married. I don't know all these authors and I'm just going to say a lot of the names. Um, Galatians for You by Timothy Keller, Critical Issues, Absolute Answers, Praying the Bible, 100 Days to Brave, um, An Even Better Christmas by Matt Chandler, Love to Eat, Hate to Eat. Um, this is another Bible study called Seamless by Angie Smith. And then we have The Meaning of Marriage by Timothy Keller. If we go down another cube, we have my Hermione in dress robes, which is just gorgeous. Um, but these are just a random assortment of books. So we have The Speckled Monster by Jennifer Lee Carroll, uh, which is a historical tale of battling smallpox. Then we have The Soul of Medicine uh, by James Raymond. Um, very weird book that I had to read for philosophy. This is a textbook that I have, but it was a really good textbook, so I kept it. Uh, this is the AP style book um, because for a while I was going to be a journalist and I needed this for some of my stuff. This is Should Be Burn Babar uh, by Herbert Cole, which I need for my young adult literature class and I still need to sell. Um, this is Shady Characters by Keith Houston. The Elements of Style, and this is the illustrated edition, which I love. It's the 52 Lists Project, which is just a fun random book. Unplug Every Day. This is my smaller Bible that I take to church. And The Discipline of Grace by Jerry Bridges. If I go one over, I keep a lot of my bookish props for Bookstagram in these two boxes, like bookmarks and random things that I can use. And right next to it, I keep my beautiful copy of A Little Princess by Frances Hogson Burnett and Les Miserables by Victor Hugo. Then we get to the rest of my classics on these next two shelves. So I have The Complete Poems and Plays by T.S. Eliot, The Wasteland and Other Writings also by T.S. Eliot, The Complete Short Stories of Ernest Hemingway, A Farewell to Arms by Ernest Hemingway, Hamlet by Shakespeare, A Clockwork Orange, Beloved by Toni Morrison, The Picture of Dorian Gray by Oscar Wilde, Slaughterhouse-Five by Kurt Vonnegut, the Grapes of Wrath by John Steinbeck and Edgar Allan Poe's 42 Tales. My very last shelf, I have The Tenet of Weldfeld Hall by Anne Bronte, Jane Eyre by Charlotte Bronte, and Wuthering Heights by Emily Bronte, A Streetcar Named Desire by Tennessee Williams, Emma by Jane Austen, Gustave Flaubert's Madame Bovary, A Journal of the Plague Year by Defoe, Persuasion by Jane Austen, 1984 by George Orwell, The Age of Innocence by Edith Wharton, Lord of the Flies by William Golding, and then I have a book about different advancements in drugs and medicine uh, by Gerald. So that is my bookshelf tour. I hope you enjoyed my video. It was a lot of fun to make. Let me know down below what book on my shelf you think I should read next. Let me know any future videos you would like me to make. I'll see you next time in my next video. Bye!